Good afternoon, everyone! My name is Luzel. thank you for clicking. Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 has by far been the best form of content for the genre based on today's topic, Mascot Horror, for quite some time, considering how dead and basic the subgenre has been deemed. Games like Joyville and Garden of Ban Ban, and especially Playtown, sorry TNP, have been primary examples of these games either being lazily made or just copying overall settings that have been done already. Usually both. Instead of trying to put in any effort or creativity, again, usually both. Mob games have obviously noticed this over the past year, and have shifted into full acceleration in terms of what they were capable of. Unless if you were a FNAF fan, Mascot Horror has been truly dry of any content that was actually be able to be deemed quality. But we aren't here to talk about that per se. We're here to talk about the most down HORRENDOUS thing to ever happen to any source of media. Growing a large fan base. Take a look! What the f am I looking at? The consequences of our actions! And it's only going to get worse from here. For you see, my friends, allow me to set up a metaphor. Growing a large fan base is like a campfire, for example. It's nice to look at and appreciate, but let too much shit out and it all catches on fire if you're not careful. As the one who started the fire, or the one who is assigned to it, you should look after it and make sure things don't get too problematic, and just like a fan base, the fire is sometimes hurtful for your eyes. The reasons differ, but you know, you get the point. I know it's a bit of a stretch, but just roll with it. However, if a separate camp starts a fire and copies your camp and does it in a way you didn't plan to envision, there is nothing you can do about it since you don't own that camp, therefore not the moderator of separate channels who make content out of your work. You can ask them to stop if it bothers you, but it can sometimes fall flat or on deaf ears if the owners don't care what you have to say, inventor or not. The best example of this is content farms. I'm so, I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> very uncomfortable. What the fuck is happening? Ah! Not the time! Channels who produce massive amounts of cringe or kids content of basically whatever is popular in the algorithm, such as Skippity Toilet, Garden of Ban Ban, FNAF, especially back in 2014, and it got really bad with the Amazing Digital Circus. There's many channels that partake in this practice, but none of them come to being as down bad as Cougar. Well, okay, scratch that. A lot of them are like even more down bad, but in terms of Cougar, he's, he's definitely got a drawing fetish. Let's get into it. Cougar McDowell VA is a voice acting channel that covers comic dubs while having original high quality art thumbnails that always look better than the actual video and some animation on the short side to spice things up for more views. Yeah, if it isn't obvious, I'm not a big fan of this guy. His voice acting team definitely puts in the work, and the same thing can be said for the art no matter how much it makes my eyes burn. So I did sub to him for, out of respect uh, for like quality, you know, I'm trying to be fair here, but turned off the notifications because I don't want his shit flooding my bell. That being said, because since his channel is a content farm, that means you get videos from him almost daily. He covers FNAF, Murder Drones, Digital Circus, Godzilla for uh, some weird reason, and the new Poppy Playtime, and oh my gosh, they are... They are, they are hitting this game hard, uh, I can tell you that much. If you want a hint on how bad this gets, there's literally animated shorts of all the smiling critters turning into frickin' MILFs. Look, I'm straight, I find women attractive, I'm not ashamed to admit it, those raging feminists that ruined Suicide Squad and the Arkham series can kiss my ass. Not saying it's weird to draw, like, hot voluptuous women and all that, as long as you don't treat real women in public like that, then there's no real harm, but taking that all into consideration, having the smiling Care Bear critters turn into something that horn dogs and especially furry horn dogs want a bone, then yeah, it doesn't change the fact that it's it's freaking weird. It's freaking weird, my guy. It's kind of funny depending on your humor, but still, I wouldn't be lying if I said watching these would have me feel kind of off and not in a good way. The female designs are kind of cute though, my favorite is Catnap, but I'm not too interested in this. If you don't like this sort of stuff, I totally get it, 100%. But if you don't, just letting you know, it gets worse when you scroll to the actual videos. I don't want to watch this guy. I don't want to watch this piece of shit, but content. 
content. Okay, let's just get it over with. Oh, these thumbnails. Why? Why? Oh. So, in the insane decision because of my decaying mental health, I decided to receive the ultimate burden and watch these videos so you don't have to. Because I need revenue and money. To show you all what you're missing out on, and spoiler warning, you're not missing out on much. At all. If you care about your sanity, then click off. No? Okay then, let's just get the least bad out of the way. First, we have a series of videos where the player of Poppy Playtime is a woman without a real name because she is referred to as Angel because Dog Day called her that like two times. CONSISTENCY! Angel in the story frees Dog Day and they are hiding from Catnap by joining Poppy in a mini resistance. By the way, Dog Day in these videos is freaking jacked, bro! It's like they shoved a bike pump up his ass or something, or lack thereof, and started pumping away. You've been staring at me for 30 minutes, Dog Day. Wait, whoa, 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 ho, ho, Dog Day, hold on, why are you freaking swole? What? Why are you swole? Why do you look like Sonic Boom Knuckles? <laughs> Why do you look like that? Kuko sometimes has a problem with making certain characters that are drawn dummy thick. Roxy from one of his security breach videos is the perfect example. I'll admit, it's not that bad. He could have gone harder, pun 100% intended. But jeez, thick thighs save lives, huh? But well, why don't you wait till she crushes someone's head with those guns? Then get back to me. So, Angel and Dog Day, whose top half is built like the Hulk, develop either a romantic relationship or a close friendship. I don't know, first rule of Cougar, you usually can't tell between the two unless it's obvious. Then it stops being funny. We'd be together. Oh, this, Katnab, this art you're is my awful. one true love. In one video, Dog Day stares at Angel like Doug staring at Max's chest in the FNAF movie novel, not joking by the way, for Dog Day to ask why Angel is missing an eye. Angel tells a story of chapter 1 where Huggy attacks and gouges her eye out, and then she runs and drops the box on Huggy and kills him like in the game. Then she explains she felt remorseful for killing him. Okay, yeah, sure, I mean, I wouldn't forgive a monster that tries to kill me and teared one of my eyes out, but hey, I guess that's a uh, me problem, am I right? Another important one is where Dog Day has a nightmare where Catnap kills Angel only for the cliche subplot of him waking up and hugging Angel back, and the last important one is where the prototype kills Catnap like in Chapter 5, except this time Dog Day tries to warn Catnap, and then it doesn't work, and he cries and wishes he could have saved him. He tore off your legs and killed all your friends. The story writers must have been smoking some of that poppy gas or something while writing the scripts, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. We're only a third way in and I just want to stop right here, but yeah, gotta keep that revenue flowing, so on to the next list. The next set of videos is a variety of Smiling Critters short stories that weren't all that bad. We have one where Catnap is in a cell and the Critters and the scientists do not trust him. Dog Day doesn't think Catnap deserves that treatment. I mean, he does, but whatever. Hoppy tries to convince Dog Day not to worry about it, but Dog Day gives Catnap a sense of comfort until much later, the Hour of Joy happens, where the other smiling critters escape with some children. But Dog Day decides to stay behind and finds Catnap feasting on an employee. Dog Day tries to convince him that the prototype is not all that he's cracked up to be. I mean, he isn't, but whatever. Catnap tells him he's a heretic and then attacks him. Then after that occurs, the others try to escape, but yeah, if you play chapter 3, you already know how that ends. Now, normally I would cover more of these, but they aren't that cursed, and some of them, like the smiling critters going to sleep by making catnap purr, are just plain cute, to be honest. So we're going to move on to the worst of the worst. The cream of the... Well, cream. What? Oh my, oh, oh, oh my, holy thumbnail, I, holy thumbnail, I, oh, oh my... Oh, oh, oh my, oh, oh no, oh my, oh my gosh, freaking, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to put something over that, jeez, this, I hate this guy, I hate this guy so much, why does he exist, burn him at a porch, please. These videos have some of the most down horrendous shit I've ever seen, where these guys decide to make catnap and dog day, and, um, well, ship them.
Okay, look, buddy, if you enjoy this sort of thing, then that's fine, man. You do you. All the power to you and, and all that. It's just not my sort of thing, okay? Respect that. Or I'll or I'll cut your balls off. But but uh, but if you're a girl, I, I, I don't know. There's a video where Dog Day and Catnap are in a relationship and then Catnap betrays him. Then the events of the chapter play out. Then there's one where Catnap gives Dog Day a Valentine's Day present. I think that his smile's pretty cute. I, I... I'm feeling so genuinely disturbed. This was written by like a Care Bears director. Oh my gosh. This is... This is just disturbing. And now... It's time for the final boss. Ugh, okay, let's do this. Female Dog Day and Bobby Bear Pug have a sleepover while expecting the others to come over. I should have stayed home today. Hold on. Our friends will be here soon. This is so... This is just making me want to jump off a nearby bridge. Oh, speaking of which... Please. Catnap! Please. You can make it. Dog Day, happy to see you too. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's not Catnap, that's Catnap's wife! A female Catnap arrives there and they decide to play a game. Female Dog Day is dared to kiss female Catnap. Will she do it or will she not? And considering the title and thumbnail of this video, I think we all know the answer to this very question. Why? Wait, Why? Why? Stop! <laughs> oh! 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 I, I feel so uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. The video ends with the others arriving, and then they suggest spin the bottle to be the next game they play, then ending with a final frame that just makes the most effective final impact on the cringe coaster. And that's where we leave off. After watching these videos, what do I think? Well, it wasn't enjoyable for the most part, I can assure that, but otherwise, I do have an upstanding opinion on content farms if you really want my outtake on the whole genre altogether. Because here's my take, I believe content farms, they can be good, but only if the content itself is enjoyable. There are multiple content farms across the internet, but the problem is while they get a bunch of views, they constantly contain content that nobody asked for. Elsa x Spider-Man videos back in early days of YouTube is a perfect example. Nobody ever asked for it, and nobody remained unscathed from it. And we definitely didn't learn from it years later. We constantly take shows or games with a family-friendly targeted audience, and hardcore porn them with over-sexualization and nudity and sometimes just cropped rule 34. I don't know why people keep clicking on this stuff. Last time I checked, this was YouTube, not Pornhub. If people want to make this kind of trash, then it belongs in the trash bin itself. I never use Pornhub. I may be a weeb by a small extent, but I'm a healthy one that treats real women like people rather than sexual outlets to exploit their will on. I think it's simply time to stop producing this kind of shit on this site so that it can get exposed to less children and spare everyone a little more peace in mind. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if it was even possible, then please consider hitting the sub button as we try to reach 10k by the end of the year. If you want content to come out sooner, be sure to either like or comment to help my view rate. You alone can indeed make a difference. I also stream and make shorts on a regular basis if you want content at a faster pace. Take care now. Love y'all. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Suryaluzel. Thanks for clicking. You might be asking, why am I doing this? Why am I sitting down on my chair, taking my minutes of my precious time that I could never get back to type Cougar McDowell VA in the YouTube search? And I'll only have my eyes burn and melt from my skull. You know what? You know what? I went through suffering before, and I'm just going to say, bring it on. There's nothing you can do to scare me. There, there's nothing. The videos, they don't even look that bad. I've seen worse. I don't know if I've seen worse, but I, I've probably seen worse. It ain't even that bad. See, it's probably not even that bad on a short side either. Is that freaking Lola Bunny? but to also go through more of his videos after I barely tolerated the last time. Well, originally I wasn't planning on doing a part two to this madness, but yeah, this happened. Your boy gotta eat. If that's what it takes to hit 10k by the end of the year, then that's what I'm gotta focus on. I'm not doing a part three though, just telling you now, there's only so much of this furry shit I can take.
In my last video, I covered Cougar MacDowell VA's channel and how it has negatively affected the internet. Now, I'm going to show that the process is still going, and I don't know whether it's better or worse. Let's find out. It's time to torture myself yet again by watching garbage content and exposing it to the best of my ability. I might be a masochist at this point, I don't know. I found some newer uploads on this channel that shows the cougar is taking advantage of the popularity of Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 and is continuing to make content on it. Hey, I don't mind people milking this game. I'm addicted to making these meme shorts. So even when the udder of the cow is as dry as a well, I'm still gonna find a way to suckle some more of that catnap energy. So I sat down and watched these shit videos so you, once again, don't have to. Let's start off with a video that actually might be good. Uh, not the thumbnail though. They are always gonna be bad. All right, Uni, I have a question for you. How do you like, uh, girls? Girls? What? Uh-huh. Okay, meme image. And, and the thumbnail shows up again! The thumbnail shows up again! She can shatter a watermelon! Why? This video depicts Bobby Bear Hug talking about Valentine's Day. Makes sense, that's literally the point of her character. She talks about the love while showing two ships that can be considered canon, and this garbage ship that was made by a bunch of crackheads. Love is shared through the ones our hearts long for! Okay. First one, canon. Second one, can be considered canon. Third one, just no. Everything stays consistent with the hard to watch through vibes until Bobby starts acting a little different. She starts to stop talking about the positives of love and starts to get super meta. And they do it in a successful way to the point I was actually creeped out from the experience. Oh, if you want to love others. How are they going to see the greatness if you, if you don't see it in yourself? I I just wish others could see that about themselves. Maybe then there wouldn't be so many problems. Why do some relationships have to end so horribly? Why can't we just love one another? Everyone deserves love and to be loved. And yet in the end, there's pain. You know, that's actually a really good point. Bobby is actually, like, giving us a life lesson that we can use in real life right now. You can use this channel. This is an educational channel now. Sometimes people don't actually love each other. The, uh, the, the more you know, put, put the PNG up on there. There's always so much hatred, so much sadness. Why does it have to be like this? No love and things have to be so complicated, so unfair. It's not right. It's not fair for others to suffer, to feel hopelessness, when, when they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't deserve this. Please, how, how could anyone, how, how could I keep living when there's only pain? Wow, the voice acting actually is really good in this, but hold on. I, I just, I, I don't want to be here anymore. And there you have it. Love truly is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Just remember, even when this holiday is over, don't forget to spread love to others. And What on earth am I lo- OH MY GOD! This by far was the only video from these lines of creators that actually got me in a way. I'm still not a fan of the video for obvious reasons, but the way the lesson was handled in this video made it feel so out of place, and the more she kept talking, all of the positivity she felt began to either go away into nothing as she caved into despair and rejected everything around her until it cuts back to normal as the video closes off, ending with the initial statements. The reason why this video has any sort of impact on me was because I 100% understood what this character was talking about. If you're watching this video in a cozy home, you probably are thinking the world isn't that bad, when in reality this world is sometimes awful to people, and a lot of people themselves are sometimes awful. Many are just not able to express themselves due to a lack of courage and or feeling of self-worth. People usually don't tell their feelings to their crush anymore because they are more scared of how people of today would react to them, and it sometimes can cause a feeling of loneliness. Sometimes it can cause despair and misery for themselves, not to mention that so many people just flat out hate each other for no reason, and it's a serious problem of today. And it just makes life feel more miserable if you're on the short end of the stick. So yeah, I actually do dig this video a bit. 
I wish that the channel handled all the videos like this, minus the horny thumbnails. It made things 10 times more interesting, 10 times creepier, and it connected to reality in a way I wasn't expecting. Also funny enough, this video isn't even on Cougar's channel. It's actually on a channel known as Cookie Cutters. I know nothing about this user, but it seems that they share resources with each other, which explains the same art style and voice actors between the two. You couldn't tell them apart. So yeah, I appreciate this superior form of video style. And it's gonna go downhill real fast as we move on to self-insertion. Self-insertion is where you take alternate work and make a fan copy while adding yourself or your OC to a hypothetical version of said story. There isn't any shame in self-insertion, it just needs to be handled well, and not to ship yourself with a character, because that's usually frowned upon. Cougar decided to take some Smiling Critter OCs and feature them in shorts, where they all turn into sexy women and hit on the Smiling Critters. Yeah, I'm staying away from those, please, and thank you. A better version of this, though, would be Lemon Wolf, an OC that interacts with Crafty Corn. Crafty Corn is messing around with a drawing and Lemon Wolf wants to see. She shows Lemon Wolf, and he's very impressed, until he starts liking it a bit too much. I think they would love it, just like I absolutely love this picture, Crafty. I, I have to go now. <laughs> the drawing that you drew, it was a very good work. Lemon, it hurts. Come on, they will definitely be as happy as me. You should know how bad the current situation is, right? Your innocent drawings can help us! I want it! Everyone wants it! And I want it every day! It made me feel like I was back alive again like back then! Let me go! Huh? Don't mess with me! Crafty! Wait! What? What oh, is this? I, I didn't... What is this? What is this? They're trying to do like an anime high school drama! What is this? Why did I come back? Why did why did the algorithm make me come back? Why did the algorithm make me come back? Why? Why did my analytics convince me? This video wasn't as impactful as the bear hug video, but I still think it's another diamond in the rough. Not as good, but it's tolerable to an extent. Self-insertion can be cringe depending on how you handle it. So I'll give this encounter a rating of somewhat mediocre. Welp, back to shit. After these gems with deceiving masks were uncovered, I could not find anything else of proper value. There's this one video that mimics the Angel videos from before, but this time Angel is some bald Henry Stickman zero testosterone male who just looks so mentally fragile. And he and Dog Day get equally uh, along as close. Maybe even closer, I don't know, it's Cougar guys, come on, it's Cougar. Then we start seeing the usual stuff, like this horny ass thumbnail for instance. It's time to return to our favorite segment, watch a bunch of comic dubs with thumbnails that give off entirely different messages. There's these two videos right here that have these thumbnails only for them to just be compilation videos, so they try to trick you by watching their shit again. I didn't watch them, just moved on to the next ones. I'm not re-watching videos I've already seen before, anytime I can avoid clicking any one of these images is a good day for me. There's this video of Crafty Corn being very shy of Catnap until she nose boops Catnap while Catnap is flustered thinking she was gonna kiss her. Now, yeah, for the elephant in the room. For some very weird reason, these comic artists have demoted even further into the rabbit hole by going, Hey ho guys, uh, remember Catnap X Dog Day? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, man, people have been eating that slop. Then the guy who asks that slowly and intimately looks at him as he asks, What if we make it a three-way, though? And so, this creature of more terrifying proportions was created. Yep, Crafty Corn is now thrown into the mix. We are getting so lost in delusion that we are taking a character that doesn't even show up in the chapter and throwing her into Catnap X Dog Day to make it a truple. And having either Catnap or Dog Day simp over her like crazy. I mean, come on, look at this thumbnail right here. They knew what they were doing. You know I'm not even going to be surprised if this ends up happening. Let's talk about the final video of today's topic. I'm already fed up enough as it is. This abomination, which is just a clone of this one. But at least it's new content. So that means we have to watch it. Hey. So for whatever anomaly that occurred, this comic actually had the art style and designs of the characters be consistent with the thumbnail for once. Oh no, Piggy did. I have two left. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Dog day. Bro is actually dripped out. Okay, he's no longer insanely bulk. And he's got a leather jacket. And the design of the character is actually the design in the thumbnail of the character. Oh my gosh. Karma came and cl- I mean, no, it, not even Karma. It was just Cougar. He saw- he saw my video I uploaded almost a week ago. He saw it. He was like, oh, uh, wh what's this YouTube account again? Okay, let's watch- let's take this critics- let's just take the critics advice. Change the character designs now. Change them now. Make Dog Day not eat for a week. I don't care. It shows a conversation where Dog Day and Crafty Corn have lunch, and Crafty Corn asks for something she describes as intimate. Oh, we know, Crafty. We know. Dog Day says sure, anything for a friend, while Catnap overhears them and butts into the conversation with Emo Boy Energy, outright hitting on Crafty and saying he could help her instead. Instead, they decide to make it a group participation and have the three of them be involved, only for it all to turn out to be a naked sculpture painting. I mean, I mean yeah, that makes sense for a model. Sometimes it involves nudity, but in this kind of context, they usually don't wear clothes, so normally that wouldn't mind. But but, but in this context, I don't know what's going to be under there, and it's just going to curse my freaking screen, and I'm just going to die. I'm just going to die. Ah, oh, nothing to be embarrassed by, Crafty. We all learn in our own time, right, Catnap? No! Nothing, ah, you're ah, absolutely ah, right ah, as usual. Ah, your elbow, it's ah, ah, uh, What did you say, Catnap? <laughs> and it ends with Catnap and Dog Day in very suggestive poses in order to make a similar painting to that one I don't remember the name of. Uh, whatever, I don't care. And there you have it. Another slew of videos, and nothing has changed. These creators will continue to partake in this manner, and people like us can say whatever we want, but we can't stop it. Cougar is just gonna keep using this manner to continue using other people's comics and turn them into saucy clickbait garbage that doesn't have any actual worth to it, while the devs, mob entertainment of Poppy Playtime will continue to actually make something that matters. I'm not going to do a third part for this for many reasons. I don't want to keep sitting down and watching this junk, and even if I committed, I don't think it would work out as well as it does now, because I would just be saying the same shit and over and over and tire you all out. I'm done watching Cougar McDowell VA on this channel, but who knows, I might come back to different content farms for this game in the future. Hopefully I won't cringe near as hard. I want to make a quick apology by the way, because interestingly enough, some comments of the previous video brought up some valid points, and I want to address them. First off, I never thought Cougar made these comics. His channel has the name VA, which stands for voice actor, at least, I think, and I don't think all these art styles would come from the same people. I know these are Twitter comic artists, and I will say that you guys all did an amazing job drawing what you like and I apologize for unintentionally making Cougar seem as he deserves all the credit. Just know that whatever I claim on these videos, I would either be 100% certain of it, or I would be thinking in the hypothetical sense, since I don't know who made these comics, so I'm sorry I left it so vague in the previous video. And there's also this guy right here, and I'm just gonna straight up say this guy is speaking pure facts. You can read the comment out to the video right now. Mad respect for this lad right here. And with all that out of the way, that will close the curtain of today's subject. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to either like or comment on this video so it can reach out to others. You alone can indeed make a difference. Or subscribe if you enjoy the content. We're trying to hit 10k by the end of the year, so if you could help out, I would definitely appreciate it. I stream and make shorts on a regular basis if you want said content at a faster pace. Take care now. Love y'all. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Surya Luzel. Thanks for clicking. So obviously, this wasn't a video I expected to be making. I was originally going to make a video discussing the recent drama of Alex Keister, but I guess we'll have to wait on that for next week, as recently, something came to my attention. It was one of those things that made you constantly ask yourself whether or not you were dreaming, because I never expected this to happen anytime soon. Two separate occasions, we talked about the terrible content of Cougar McDowell VA, a comic dub YouTuber that covers comics and makes the most suggestive thumbnails and shorts you could find. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop! No! Oh God, fuck! 
After I finished my second video on the matter, I was not going to make any more about this channel because I would simply be saying the same thing over and over. So for the sake of preventing repetition, I decided not to continue talking about his channel. However, out of nowhere, uh, I received a comment that mentions Cougar changing the way he does things. As soon as I read that, I immediately dropped what I was doing and hopped on his community tab, which reads as follows. Hello everyone, I have discussed with my team about the ongoing situation that we are aware of. Going forward, we will be applying mature audience warnings at the start of our videos and place warnings, parental advisory on our thumbnails that require it. I will be moving forward in a more considerate manner with our viewers, and I will also take full responsibility for the situation. I only ask to everyone, please don't direct any hate or displeasure towards the individuals who work for me and or with me on my projects. If you have comments, please direct them towards myself. Sincerely, Cougar. So yeah, this was something I never thought Cougar would do. We all knew what he was, and he knows what he is, and it's obvious from what he was doing for the past few years. It's not like the man had some sort of revelation or anything. So what exactly happened? I don't know whether or not he saw my videos on the matter, or if he got complaints from some of his friends. I don't know, I've got no clue. But as I discovered this, I was very happy about this change. His content was living in a nasty side of my head rent free after reacting to his videos. And now knowing that his thumbnails would be more tame and having a warning on the rating of the thumbnails, it's a much better way to handle things. I don't think he needed to put the parental advisor on the thumbnail since the initial disclaimer seems more than enough. I did that for the Springtrap and Delilah video and that turned out okay. But the reason why this change was needed is because I and many others just find this stuff annoying, uncomfortable, and or weird. I wouldn't be having any success with these videos if my opinions were not valid in some sort of way. And almost everyone that commented on my videos agreed with me at least to an extent. It's all just a bunch of stuff we didn't ask for, nor did we need. Content farms can be fun if they are handled the right way. Look! Down here is our safe spot. She might be somewhere. Let's go downstairs and check for her. Why are you fucking British all of a sudden? Wait, what happened? GameTunes is an example of a content farm that makes content that's passable in my eyes. It's obviously like not meant for me because it's definitely made for children and I'm 20 years old so I of course wasn't very interested much. The animation is pretty good but that's all I'll say on them. I always come back! I need one dead Scott Corbin immediately. You guys should all be fired. So what do we do now? Well, to send off these videos once and for all, I'm going to record my reaction through his final batch of untamed videos for your enjoyment. Don't say I never do anything for you. Parental advisory. Yes, you've changed yourself for the better, Cougar. This should have been, like, a long time ago, but... You know what, whatever, whatever. Change, change is good. Change is good. Uh, okay, uh, hopefully the, uh, adjusted the shorts tab, too. Alright, let's see what we got here, I... Oh! What the? No! 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 So let's get this out of the way so we can properly send off this terrible content once and for all. And what better way to start off with than this video right here? Remember that one video from our first reaction recording? Well, it recently got a part two and now I'm filled with instant regret. Long, cheer up, it's a party. This is not a party, this is a lemon party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Stop. Oh, it Just landed put on me. the bottle down. And now it's on you. That's, yes, that means that's kissy cheating. time. You're cheating. You're no, it cheating. doesn't. Why does nobody in You're this house cheating. ever play fair? That's cheating. Well, Girl, that's you can't then. do it. That's cheating. You Come here, hot stuff. It. Stop. Wait, I'm not sure. Stop! Is, is it weird that I'm getting into this? No! It's weird! It's very- And the video ends with a gang seeing an OC enter their house, which, in case you haven't known, Cougar has made shorts about many OCs meeting female versions of the smiling critters. Yeah, no thank you. I'd rather be spending my time watching Godzilla X Kong, which midway editing for So You Lose right here, hear me, me, myself, and I, and my friends are gonna be watching the new Godzilla movie in two days, and then Cougar just had to upload his shot! Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, he, he made me angry. But still, I'm very excited and I absolutely cannot wait. So let's go!
Okay. Anyways, moving on there are some videos where the smiling critters are trying to get Catnap to confess to Dog Day. And I also heard them say that the bridge near my house is looking pretty tempting. I don't know, guys. You think I should jump? You think I should jump? Papa has told me you're- What on earth are these drawings? I mean, I get it. They're unique, but... I don't know. Does something feels off? Why is Bubba so thick? Well, that's about to- Okay, Sailor Moon, I'ma need you to chill for a second. Well, how about a heart box with chocolates? It's not like he dislikes chocolate either. I saw him eating an entire bar the other day. Yeah, he's gonna die now. You you got you, the creators of the comics, did you guys like forget that dogs can't eat chocolate because they'll die? You dumb fuck. Yes, it's with honey on top. Dude, that build? That plushy build with the five fingers! It's triggering me! It's tri- Can I take some time out, Catnap? Uh-huh. Oh, Whoa, jeez! Way to, like, rape my ears, bro! What? I was having the head- Why was that so loud compared to the rest of the video? My gosh! Do they need to just shut it out like, BUY CATNAP! And here's a video where Dog Day introduces Catnap on how to be a cowboy. Yeehaw! I wanna die! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Playtime Co. is doing a Smiling Critters Western Frontier themed toy line. And we all gotta play our part to fit the role. Got oh, so they're trying to actually fit it into the story. Why? Wrangling. I gotta teach you how to wrangle again. We have to be as accurate as possible for the investors. Bro is excited. Now for the hard part. Swing your rope, Shut wait for the perfect up. moment, no! and then catch no! her! Like that, cowboy. Huh? Um, I, uh, you. What is that sound? What is that sound going through my ears? No! No! And don't you dare think that the cringe train ends here, as we have a video where Kick and Chicken and Crafty Corn make out, and I have no idea where this pairing came from. Don't ask me, I'm not- I don't ship characters. What? <laughs> Look at they're so Oh, they're humans now! Great! Great! They're humans now! That's exactly what we wanted, right? That's exactly what we wanted! Yes! Yes! Now they're gonna go in the closet in the storage back rooms! Yeah! This is great! So silly and adorable. Shut up! Aw, I love her silly way. I love her. Mm. <laughs> huh? Uh, what's this? Why did you? Why did you kiss me? Uh, 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 he's trying to. He's trying to tap that ass. Yes, sir. This is so embarrassing. Now bang. Can, uh, can you do it again? Uh -uh. Yep. It's time. Let's open up that boy. Yeah, this kicking. My nipple crafty. But yeah, I've been scrolling through these videos for a long time watching these, and there's absolutely nothing else worth mentioning. These videos were all the same as I expected, so I went to his newest videos and found one with a tag. It contains the catnap and dog day falling for the player because, of course. And dog day tries to confess to her, but it falls on deaf ears. And yeah. That's it. The content itself didn't change much, but the way it was advertised came off a lot less creepy, and I do respect that aspect. But who knows, maybe next time we'll get a really bad thumbnail with the logo. I, I don't know, I don't care. Regardless, this isn't a channel I go back to for fun or for my free time, so it doesn't matter to me much. I was just surprised by this news, and I felt like I wanted to make this video to symbolize the end of an era. It was a shit era, but it was still one nonetheless. And with that, we're going to end off the video here. I hope that the takeaway of this video is that other channels start to follow this very example. Thank you so much for watching. Making this video while on my Elden Ring procrastination arc was a pain, but I was able to push through to not make it too long apart from my last upload. I can get back on my shorts grind, so that's reassuring. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like or comment so this video can reach out to more people. You alone can indeed make a difference. I stream and make shorts on a regular basis if you want said content at a faster pace. Be sure to check my Discord or my Twitter for updates. Take care now. Love y'all.